thanks for tuning in. Today I'm working on making a bowl. Um, I'm using this tray mold. This is a 12 inch mold. And I thought I would try using some cellophane. So um, I've seen a lot of tutorials where people use cellophane. Um, it gets some really cool effects. So I bought some, these are just um, bags, like for making gift baskets. Just got these on Amazon. I just looked for iridescent cellophane. So just got this. It's kind of like a pink and yellow with like a teal undertone. I thought it was really pretty. Um, so that's what I'm going to, that's kind of my color scheme here. Um, I am using the glitter. This is, what is this? Blue Oasis from Counterculture. And I got this from Bear Woods. Um, really pretty. And I thought it would complement that teal undertone. And I've got a couple mica powders. This is actually, I'm working on my own mica powder line. <laughs> um, so these are two of the colors that I got from the factory as samples. And I'm just testing these out today. So I've like this um, teal blue, it almost matches my mold. <laughs> um, and then this pink, which I thought looked really nice with the cellophane. I don't know if you can see that. And then for the cellophane, I've cut it up into little pieces, just random. I just snipped it up and I've got a pile here that is flat and then a pile that is crinkled. So what I did was um, this pile, I just snipped it up, but this pile, I crumpled up the cellophane first and then I flattened it out and then I snipped it up. So these pieces have a little more, um, I don't know what you'd call it, activity. <laughs> um, you can see the the colors kind of bounce off a little differently than they do off of the flat ones. So I thought that might be kind of fun to, to use a mix of both and just see, you know, what kind of effect I get. So this mold, I don't know if I said this already, 12 inch mold. It takes 12 ounces of resin, which I have mixed up all my resin already. Um, today I am using Naked Fusion Artist Resin, kind of my go-to. Um, let's see, so I've got my three cups for, these two cups for the mica and then my little cup for the glitter. Let me make sure you can still see what I'm doing here. Nope, as usual, I never have anything lined up right. <laughs> Let me move, oops, wrong way, there we go. Okay, that's a little better. Maybe I'll zoom out, sorry. Alrighty, so I'm going to get these mixed up. I got my little spoon. So I have about an ounce and a half of um, resin in each cup. And I don't want this to actually be like a really opaque color, the pink or the blue. I do want them slightly transparent. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of each in here. I really like these micas. Um, they're very finely ground. So this is my first time using them. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we get. All right, grab a couple sticks to get these mixed up. Okay. And now my glitter. I just wipe my spoon off. I get mica powder in my glitter bag here. Okay, so everything's mixed. So what I'm gonna do to start I have my clear in two cups over here. This was the cup that the the other three came out of. So I'm gonna set this aside and pour that in after I've put everything else in. And I'm just gonna start with the bigger cup of clear. And I wanna put the glitter around the edge first. Let me move these out of the way. I feel so disorganized today. <laughs> Whenever I do this glitter around the edge, I, I like to 
have it just a little bit thick. So I don't know if you were looking when I put the glitter into the resin, but I put three decent sized little spoonfuls into this cup. And this is one ounce of resin. Um, and as you can see, as it's pouring out, it's, it's on the thicker side. And I tend to like that because it will spread and it will run into the center a little bit. Um, and I think having more glitter to start, you end up with a nice glittery edge. Otherwise, if you don't use enough glitter and it's, it does move towards the center, you end up with not quite so much around the edge because it's all going to move in. So this way, at least I start out with more. Uh, hopefully I end up with more on the edge. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna pour the clear. And I don't think I'm gonna pour quite all of it. I do, um, I wanna have a little bit left so I can kind of blend out the colors before I put the cellophane in. What I think is going to happen, because I've never done this, like I said, um, I think when I put the cellophane in, that is actually going to prevent the what usually happens with resin. What normally happens is everything will just kind of flow towards the center. But I think with the cellophane in there, it's going to prevent that. So I think most of the colors and the glitter are going to stay where I, where they are when I put the cellophane in. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what's going to happen. And since it's not going to, the colors I don't think are going to move, I want to make sure they're blended in because they're not going to blend the way they normally do. Um, so that's my theory. That's my working theory here. All right, so I do see a few bubbles that are sitting on the bottom of the mold here. And I'm just going to gently lift them up with my little dotting tool. And I'm using the rounded end of the dotting tool. I don't want to scratch the mold. All right, and now my colors. I'm just gonna kinda just randomly drizzle them in. Okay, now I'm gonna use my heat gun and I'm gonna try to move some of the color around. I don't think it's gonna move too far because it looks like it's already sank. I'm just gonna try and blend it a little bit. That's pretty good. Can't hardly see the teal because it blends in with the mold so well. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna put in the cellophane. And when I was cutting it up yesterday, it is like super staticky. So hopefully it doesn't stick to me. So I'm gonna put it in and I'm just gonna try and press it down. I wanna get it into the resin. I don't know if this is the best way to do this, but. All right, so I'm just gonna pour the rest of the clear in here. It's starting to thicken up. take my dotting tool again. I'm just going to go around the edge. I just want to make sure there's no bubbles stuck to the edge of this mold. Especially when you're using glitter. It seems like whenever I do this 
type of a project and I put glitter around the edge. There's a lot more bubbles on my edges than when I just use resin with without glitter. <laughs> um, so I always try to remember this step. Cellophane is heat sensitive, so you don't want to overdo it with um, your heat. Because you don't want to melt the cellophane. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go through. I can see little tiny bits where the cellophane is poking up just a little bit. I'm just going to push it down. There's just some air trapped under it. But I want to make sure all the cellophane is underneath the resin. Okay, I think I got most of it. All right, so I'm gonna set a timer for eight hours and then I will come back and we'll shape this into the bowl. So I'll see you then. Okay, it is not all the way cured, but it is cured enough. Um, to form it. So what I always look for is it's not sticky anymore, but it's flexible. That's usually when I will pull it out of the mold and shape it. So I have my bowl. Um, and this is actually going to be the um, inside. So sometimes I will leave it in the mold like this and push it into the bowl. And I just do it that way because I, you know, it helps to kind of prevent any marks on the underside. It takes a little bit. You have to kind of work it in. But that way, you know, if you take it out, you can certainly do that and put it into whatever you're shaping it with. But if there's any sort of texture on your bowl or if it's not shiny, that could actually transfer to the outside of the bowl. I've had that happen a couple times um, where I've used a bowl that wasn't shiny <laughs> to shape it and then when I took this out and flipped it over the up the other side had like this ring of the um, matte finish it wasn't you know like the glossy finish and it got that from the bowl. So if I am doing it this way I try to leave it in the mold. So there you go. Um, so I'm gonna let this set up and then in the morning, I should be able to take it out and we'll see what it looks like. So I'll see you then. All right, it's the next morning and it's time to take this out of here. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. All right, are we ready? Oh, the mold's already starting to fall off. <laughs> I'm really curious how much of the blue is gonna be there versus the mold. All right, here we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Lots of subtle colors. So much sparkle, I love it. Love it. I think I'm gonna take it outside, see what it looks like in the sun. Oh, that sparkle's amazing, oh my gosh. The pink and the blue from the mica came through. They blended so pretty. Nice glitter edge. Oh guys, I'm in love with it. I hope you are too. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, click the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Take care.